Welcome back, YouTube. Today we're going to be watching another Kentucky Ballistics video, and this time he has claws because we are going to be watching his Wolverine video of Could You Defeat Wolverine? And I'm a comic nerd, and I'm going to say no. Wolverine is like super overpowered. You would have to be Magneto to even have a chance of pulling that off. I don't exactly know what he's going to do. All I know is he's got claws, but I'm excited to find out. And before we begin, Twitch chat, do you have anything you want to say to YouTube before we start? And without further delay, let's get into it. Oh, dang it. Don't try this at home. <gasps> oh, oh. What are you doing, Scooter? I'm trying to eat my lunch. I'm having a really hard time, okay? Okay, we'll just put the claws down. Seems pretty simple. I can't. I've been saving up all my life, and I finally got claws implanted. First of all, why would you do that? And second of all, what doctor would do that? First of all, they are- Uh, there's a lot of doctors in the Marvel Universe that would do that. Um, I'm sure they would, especially if you're willing to put uh, adamantium on your bones. Uh, in the Weapon X program, a lot of them. Okay, sorry, I nerded out. But real question, ha were these ever used in any, like, professional sense, or are these like a novelty? Is there any sort of fighting style, war, uh, martial arts, or anything that's like, yeah, yeah, we use the Tiger Claws. It's a novelty? Okay. All right, it's a novelty? All right. Thinking awesome, and second of all, some guy found on Craigslist. So you can't retract them at all. Nope. Permanently out. Gotcha. Listen, I got a really big favor to ask you, okay? I gotta pee. I knew it. Real bad. I knew no. it. Come on, no. please! God! Yeah, I don't care. No, I'm not doing that. Please! I gotta pee! Good luck, buddy. Ah! Now I understand his pain! This is why he's always so angry! I think Wolverine can retract his claws, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. But you, there has to have been a point where Wolverine did chop his own dick off, right? There has to be at some point. What's up, everybody? My name is Scott, and you're watching Kentucky Ballistics. And this is what it would look like if you ordered Wolverine off Wish. I am very excited about today's video. This has taken a very long time to put together, and I don't think the timing could be any better with the new Wolverine and Deadpool movie coming out. So today, I I'm excited for that movie. I'm gonna see it when it, the day it comes out. Torso. This is real adamantium. Well, you don't believe me? Mm. Well, here, look at this. Here's a magnet. I'll put this on his rib cage. Stick it on a rib. That proves it. And it will even stick to his skull. So today I have several different firearms ranging from small Why does he look like Elvis? to very large and some very special ammunition. And we're going to see just how tough Wolverine is and if you would even stand a chance. I am very excited to get started. So let's go get set up and get to it. So up first is something that would probably Jeez. just make him angry. This is a Rough Rider 22 long rifle. It's rather big, but it shoots a very small round. Oh, wow. It's a 40 grain, 20. Wow, that is very tight. What is? Huh. Like, I know it's a bullet and that would hurt, but man, just looking at that, I'm like, man, that's like a mosquito. That wouldn't do, that wouldn't do anything. Two long rifle. It's for ants. <laughs> Man, it didn't even kick. All right. No, that's average Check size. Okay, so oh. we have a hit right here. And if you look closely, you can see that that round actually splattered and broke up on his sternum. So in that case right there, <laughs> I'd be running. Hey, so welcome, that 22 Vanilla. long rifle did literally nothing. So now we're going to step it up <gasps> to 5.7. This is a Ruger 5.7, and I'll be loaded up with some 40 grain 5.7 by 28. It's a fast, mean little round. Here we go. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, wow. So I managed to hit his rib. Look at that. That's a good it shot. It exploded inside there. It hit that rib and just shattered. Old Wolverine here would literally just laugh at you. So now we're gonna step it up to nine millimeter. I have a Canic TTI Combat. This thing is absolutely awesome. And I'm gonna load it up with some Underwood ammo. 167 <laughs> grain, nine millimeter. 
Wolverine getting that's hot. A, I do not know how anyone with hair does this. If I was Wolverine, I'd totally shave my head. Here we go. <laughs> Oof. Man, he is right on target every time. I think I hit in the same hole as the 22 long rifle. I was accidentally accurate, and that round hit and broke up. And you can see the jacket is right there towards his. That, that's not that's not realistic. There wouldn't be a hole anymore because Wolverine would have healed up already. Oh my god, this isn't comic accurate, chat. Fucking videos ruined. <laughs> Collarbone. So at this point, I think I would be reconsidering going to combat with Wolverine. I would maybe try to talk it out with him, but he's going to be pretty angry at this point. So up next, we're going to step it up to good old 45 ACP. But if I'm going to use 45 ACP against Wolverine, I'm going to make sure I got two 45 ACPs. This is my Dueler 1911. <gasps> oh, I'm that gun. With that one. two rounds of 45 ACP. Let's see how he likes this. Oh. He is so accurate. I mean, I shouldn't be surprised, but wow. Okay, both of those hit in the same spot as the nine mil. And there is smoke coming out of here. Nothing has happened to his sternum, except it is really getting a lot of lead buildup. Look at all those He's gonna die of lead poisoning. That is nuts. And really, we still haven't factored in his healing factor. I mean, not only are we not doing any damage to him, these are just flesh wounds. He would just heal up and it would be no big deal. If the good old 45 ACP can't defeat Wolverine, I don't know what can. I think it's time yeah. to get a little more. Is this steel or iron or what? What? To, what form of metal? I mean, I know obviously, obviously it's adamantium. But you know, if it wasn't adamantium, I wonder what kind it is. More serious. Up next, I have a Glock 40 chambered in 10 millimeter, and I have some Underwood ammo, 180 grain, 10 millimeter. Oh, he missed. You definitely don't want that to happen if you're in a battle with Wolverine. That right there, you'd be done. I mean, it's, it's okay. Sometimes guys miss the hole. All right. It, it happens to everyone that you make a little bit of a slip up and whoop, you miss, you miss the hole. You just read a line and you stick it in. Okay. That's fine. It's fine. It happens to everyone. Just stay calm. Just stay calm. There's no shame. I was just trying to show you that as a scenario. Totally did it on purpose. It's just hair. It's all in my eyes and I can't see. <laughs> like how is the most stood up stood up wig is just can't be in his in his eyes. Oh, okay. It looks like he's gonna go to a weird beauty pageant. Or an Elvis impersonation concert. <gasps> ah, his liver! I think that's the liver. Ew, he's peeing. Alright, Bub. Looks like we finally struck oil. Uh he would definitely heal up from that. Oh my goodness, he has silver blood. Wow. Well, that's weird. Well, you know, over time, that adamantium actually becomes toxic. It starts kind of hurting him. So maybe that's a result of it being in his body too long. Silver blood. Huh. <laughs> it still didn't make it all the way through him. It stopped oh. his back rib. It hit and splattered inside him. So he would heal up from that just fine, and eventually his body would just push out it's not a wick he's always had oh that my hair. goodness he's already stopped bleeding it's not looking too good for us non-mutants and if you are also a non-mutant such as myself and you enjoy this content you need to do yourself a favor and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future awesome content and make sure you hit that bell for notifications wow did he just did he just say he's anti-mutant Wow. Wow. I bet he supports the Sentinel program. Wow. He, at least he didn't say the mutie word. Oh my god. He's like, only if you're a non-mutie should you, should you subscribe to me. He doesn't want mutie subscribers. Wow. Bigotry. Bigotry. Wow. <laughs> And welcome, Black Wolf. All these rounds have done absolutely nothing to Mr. Wolverine over there. So now it's time to step it up to the old Glock 50 cal. I love a this Glock. This is my Gun Crafter Industries 50 GI. And I have some 275 grain 
50 GI rounds. Yeah, he supports Operation Zero Tolerance. Take this, Logan! Hey, right on the right on the ribcage. I'm thinking. Oh, no, that's not it. Oh, I hit him right here, and that actually just kind of clipped off of his rib. And yeah, it's not back there. Up next, I have a gun that even Deadpool himself would be jealous of. Oh, this there is, it is a Magnum Research Desert Eagle 50 AE suppressed. And I'll be loaded up with some subsonic. There's a video called Oops the Wrong Hole. AE. I gotta see that. Ooh. Jimmy Chungus. Oh. Oh, did that go out the back? I can't tell. Looks like I, I can't hit tell. right here. And we got in between those ribs. And oh wow. Okay. So Deadpool may be onto something packing around Desert Eagles because we made it between those two ribs, and then back here we hit this rear rib, and you can see it's bent. Ooh. And then the bullet actually made it all the way out the back. He may have a little trouble breathing after that one. I don't know how you set an adamantium rib. Does someone just like hit him in the back with a sledgehammer? Like, how does that work? The Desert Eagle actually did quite a bit of damage to old Wolverine. So now we're going to try out something a little bit more powerful. Snub than nose. That. This is a Smith & Wesson Performance Center 500 Smith & Wesson Magnum. And this is going to be loaded up with some Underwood ammo, 350 grain, 500 Magnum. Okay. Here we go. Mm. Oh. She be kicking. Oh my God, look at that kick. So let's inspect. Hit right here. Looks mm -hmm. like we managed to just kind of clip that rib and go in between. And then, oh wow, we actually have an exit hole. We made it in between Ooh. these two ribs back here. Wow, that hurts like. my back but just still, looking. I don't really feel like we would be doing much to Wolverine at this point. He would heal super fast and then he'd be turning you into a shish kebab. We yep. gotta try something else. Yep. That is pretty much... It's pretty much... If you're just a normal guy, you gotta just fill him with so much lead and just shred his skin and flesh so much that he's just gotta, you know, recharge, get it, get his flesh back, and then you just run. Because he can be a walking skeleton in some iterations. And how? Do, what does he do if a round is still in him? It gets pushed out. It, it gets pushed out. It, it, like, he's very fortunate that it heals in such a way that the bullet just goes... Boop, 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 boop. If you've seen... uh, What was it? The X-Men... The, the, the one where they go back in time, that's shown even before the adamantium claws that they just he, he just has that healing factor that works so good. So, yeah. Bro, if I'm a normal guy fighting Wolverine, I've made a serious judgment error. You definitely have or you just accidentally like wasted his beer. You like you bumped into him and he drops his glass. He's like, Shh. mistake, bub. And then he attacks you. So, yeah. Got to got to be careful. Or you get a giant magnet. You just need a huge, huge magnet that could work. As large as we can go with handguns. So now we are going to step it up to rifles. Because let's be honest, if you were going to war against Wolverine, you would definitely take a rifle over a handgun. So the first rifle we have is an AR-15 chambered in 5.56, and I have a 20-round mag loaded with two rounds of Underwood ammo 556. Five, okay, let's give him one down low, one up top. Oh. Ooh. Oh, dead, dead center, dead center. So it appears Wolverine would eat your 556 five, for breakfast. So he got hit right here, and that did a little bit of damage. It did go out the back, 
and I'm sure he had a tummy ache from that, but he'd heal up pretty quick. And even right yep. here, we hit the sternum slash rib right there, and it looks like it broke up all hmm. on that sternum. That's some really good metal. Why don't, his lung, but why don't we do this in real life? Just, just replace everyone's ribs with metal. Like, I see no downside from that. Metal poisoning? What's that? That's not real? <laughs> just shoot him with the four bore? I feel like if you shot real Wolverine with the four bore, he, it would take him a while to get up because his bones and tendons would be just gone, splattered, but his skeleton would still be intact, and he would just have to, like, wait until the muscles were regenerated back on for him to be able to move. So it would just be a good way for you to get the heck out of there while he's, you know, on the ground. So, yeah, what if you dissolve him completely in acid? Uh, he would just become a skeleton again, minus his brain, because in Marvel, how I understand it, Marvel tends to ignore the fact that the skull is not entirely sealed in. There are obvious, there are slight openings that things can get into it, but they always ignore that. So acid, lava, fire, stuff like that, it never reaches the brain. So as long as the brain is fine in most iterations of Wolverine, he will regenerate. He just needs to wait until his muscles come back. So yeah, he got regenerated from a single drop of blood. Yeah, there are some super extreme examples where he, it, it, you need to literally vaporize him like Cell from Dragon Ball Z. So depending on the iteration, you can dissolve him to get away, or you're just you're screwed no matter what. Like it, it's it is tough. It is really tough to to defeat him you need to get rid of that adamantium for one thing uh and yeah that's really that's what you kind of have to do or you encase him in adamantium sorry i'm going on a weird nerd tangent but those are some things you can do and then if you know who lobo is if you know who lobo is from the dc comics he's even more insane because he doesn't not he doesn't not just regenerate from a drop of blood if you like splattered him every drop of blood regenerates into a new lobo so you just created like a thousand new versions of the guy you're attacking he's insane he is insane what about radiation i feel like he would heal from the radiation if you bursted him with a bunch of radiation then it would probably be like oh again he slowed down but he would still he would still heal that up he was he could probably like chop off some of the infected flesh if he really wanted to if he cared and then just have that regenerate. So yeah. Yeah. I don't think he would care. That 556 no. did absolutely Also welcome nothing. Alex Raven. And if I was going to pick between that and this next rifle, I would totally go with this. This is an Ohio Ordnance H hey, welcome 30 Rome. 6 and I have a 20 round mag loaded up with some Underwood ammo. We're watching Kentucky Ballistics Acton as Elvis. <laughs> this rifle most definitely is suitable for battling Wolverine. Give me one down low. Oh. Ooh. Ah, he definitely felt that one. Didn't Wolverine also drown in the movies? Like he can he just constantly kept drowning, but he kept regenerating. Ooh. See now, now we're starting to see the 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 ripple effects from the bullets. So it looks like 30-06 out of an H car would definitely cause a little more damage to Wolverine. We hit right there, and you can see we have quite a bit of internal damage. And right here, you could really see some damage. Looks like we did manage to hit his rib. It has a little bit of a bend to it, but we still have an exit hole. It looks like it went around it, and then we definitely have an exit hole down here. That would definitely slow him down, but I think at some point he would probably still catch up to you. I yep. don't care what superpowers you have. I would not <gasps> want to be hit with this rifle regardless. I love that. This is a CZ 550 bolt action safari rifle yeah. chambered in 416 Rigby. I was called a hunting rifle. 416 because of Fallout. Badger, because this thing don't care about nothing. This is a 350 grain hot core. And I think this is going to cause quite a bit of damage to Wolverine over there. But th this has got to be one of the most iconic guns, right? Maybe, again, maybe it's just because I grew up playing the Fallout games, and this is what I consider, like, the hunting rifle. But I love, 
I love the look of this gun. All right, good night, senpai. I love the look of this gun. And I, I love the loading animation. I called it an animation. The loading movement, not animation. Movement and animation in real life is a movement. I just like the... Ch -ch 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 -ch. Does anyone else do that when they have to lock a door at like a motel and they have one of those slidey locks? They're like... Yeah, it just feels badass, even though you're literally just locking a door. Oh. Give it to him right in the wait, 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 can we can we hear that one more time? One more time. Oh, it's so nice. Right in the sternum. Oh. A bolt gun, you tweet, but it's a cool bolt gun. All right, tell you what, let's give him one more, but a little bit lower. Oh, oh no, goodness. Wolverine down! Wolverine down! <laughs> uh, how is that wig staying on? Did he use duct tape? Oh no, I'm sorry, that's his actual hair. Sorry, no, that's his actual hair. So what I failed to mention was those four 16 Rigby rounds were actually a compound of vibranium and animanium. And oh. as you can see here, we did quite a bit of damage. We actually made it- Well, he should have aimed for the head then. Cage, put a hole <gasps> right through it. And we also hit right here. Let's roll old Wolverine over. Oh, oh my oh. God. Dude, oh. he blew his back oh, out. Okay, yep. <sighs> That's not looking too good. Uh, right here in the back, we are missing a pretty big chunk. <laughs> Actually, it's right here. It goes right there. I okay, wait, 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 wait. Okay, this, this is something that I always hate that I never see this in a lot of movies. It, it, when when there's, sh there's a shootout or someone gets shot. In, in some sort of movie or TV show and everything. And it's just, it, it's an entry wound and then the exit wound are the exact same size. I hate that. It's because I know that when you get shot, it, depending on the caliber of gun, you're going to have a very noticeable change in the exit hole. So I like I, I like it when movies actually show it like this because it's realistic where, OK, it goes in and then the back is just bleh, it's gone. I, I can't remember what movie it was, but my favorite one was when a guy got shot in the head and it's like it's a tiny hole in the in the front of his, his skull. But then when he falls over, the back of his head is just. It's just like there was a stick of dynamite in his brain. And I was like, that, that's good. That's accurate. I, there were so many people, I think, when people talking online of like, why they do, why they make it look like that? That's not very realistic. It's like, actually, that's pretty realistic. Actually, thank you. Thank you. It might have been Django. It might have been. I don't remember. Managed to hit any ribs, but we did hit his shoulder blade and it is all kinds of bent. Oh my goodness. Look behind there. That is all kinds of nasty. Okay, well again, in this situation, I mean, I know he has healing powers, but is it gonna heal up around this and he's just gonna have a big old metal shoulder blade sticking out of his back for the rest of his life now? He would definitely need Colossus to knock that back into place for him. So I know what you've been saying this entire video. Scott, there's only one way to possibly take out Wolverine and that's an adamantium bullet and that's a oh it's just like when you drill in a region. cement wall oh me, I didn't know I that knew I was going up against Wolverine and I only had one chance oh I'm breaking out this rifle right here there this it is is my Christian firearms single shot falling block four bore <sighs> rifle. this is the most powerful shoulder fired rifle in the world it is one inch in diameter this thing is putting out 200 pounds of felt recoil producing over 10,000 foot pounds of energy and here is the four bore round and this is a custom adamantium 2150 grain round deadpool <sighs> eat your heart out now if that was made That's of adamantium that would absolutely wreck wolverine like he would he would not stand a chance although no no yeah he, he would not stand a chance i i don't know if the comics have ever gone into what would happen if let's say hypothetically you chopped off one of his arms okay like because you can't really do that because of the adamantium but let's say you could chop off his arm 
does his arm just now regrow? And the the even though there's adamantium over the bone, does it just come back? And then obviously it wouldn't have adamantium. Because if so, then you could like blow out his chest. But then it'll just reform, but no adamantium. I don't know. Didn't matter to separate um him in half once. I know he's he took out the adamantium at one point. But I don't know. I don't know. There, that's the problem with comics, is that if you can think of an event, it's probably been done. So, like, you know, it's like, oh, there's always a counterpoint to anything that you have. Because, like, actually, in this series, uh, the opposite happens. So, yeah. All right, see you, LMG. So, I, I don't know. Big old chimichanga. I would imagine he would regenerate, assuming you didn't crack the skull. Oh, all right. But without the adamantium, obviously. Time to ride the lightning. Oh! oh, there goes his head. Yeah, he's dead. Depending on the comic. <laughs> oh my god. It's like that one scene from Scanners. I think that's the name of the, the movie. Yeah, Wolverine's dead. She be kicking. And if you would also like to be kicking, you can check out my She Be Kicking I did shirt. see the fireball. There's a link in the description down below that will take you to KentuckyBallistics.com. Now let's check out what's left of Wolverine. So it seems to me if you absolutely had to go to battle with Wolverine, there is nothing you should pick other than a four bore. I mean, it and did aim a for the head. lot of damage. There's pieces of adamantium skull everywhere. I mean... <laughs> Got your nose! I saw a really big piece <laughs> go that way. Let's go see what we can find. And when I say go that way... Oh, dude, that's a giant cock. literally cough. flew as high as those treetops. All right, I think I found it. I'm also about to find a bunch of ticks. Ugh, I hate ticks. We found one on my dog today. I hate them. Oh. Okay. I found his cap. <laughs> so, this is the metal cap that was on the Wolverine torso, and as you can see here, huh. we smacked like a turtle shell. Four bore. A four bore rifle with a 2,150 grain adamantium bullet would definitely be suitable defense against Wolverine. You know, he's pretty messed up, but the thing is, Wolverine can regenerate, even with a shot like that. He can probably regenerate, Maybe. and when he comes back, he is gonna be so angry. Depends so on the I comic. I feel like I probably need to do something to pin him down or, you know, prevent him from coming after me. Oh no. today's video i hope you enjoyed it i had a ton of fun today if you did enjoy it do me a favor and give it a like and if you're not subscribed to kentucky ballistics do yourself a favor and hit that subscribe button also be sure and check me out on all social media platforms links to all those can be found in the description down below along with a link to kentuckyballistics.com just in case you want to pick up a shirt and as always my name Thank you so much for watching Kentucky Ballistics. I'll see you next time. I'll see you next time. Money shot. Ooh. <laughs> He's a pancake. <laughs> like one of those old cartoons with Wiley e. Coyote. Like on old Looney Tunes. Scrash. Maybe that was made of adamantium as well. That was from his video where he shot it with a four bore, right? You don't have a four bore, but you got a crane and a safe. I think you'll be all right.
very nice. What'd the table do to deserve that? Because it's a table. Because it's a table. He hates tables. He hates tables. Well, I enjoy- I, I didn't know what to expect. I was like, is, is, he, is he just gonna like... I, I, I didn't know what to expect when he said Wolverine. It's like, because I saw the claw, it's like, is he gonna stab stuff? I, I didn't know, but this was a very good video. I liked it. I liked it a lot. I liked it a lot. Especially when there's more forebore. You can't go wrong with more forebore. But... Thank you, YouTube, for watching. If you enjoyed this, consider liking, subscribing, commenting, and leaving another channel or video recommendations down in the comments down below. And consider coming by the Discord or the lives and or the live stream with the uh, those links are in the description down below. But until next time, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day. Stay awesome, y'all.